Hi everyone, it's Barry from Jerusalem. This week's Torah lesson is Vayera. Vayera is uh, central to the whole theme in Jewish history because this is actually the birth of Yitzhak. Yitzhak, of course, was the second in command. First, Avraham and Lech Lecha. He started, he met Sarah, and they, and they had Yishmael, which we know the descendants of the Muslim tradition. And then we have Yitzhak at the end of Lech Lecha. Their names change from Sarai to Sarah and Avram to Avraham. So within both of these names, within the male, which is called Ish, and with the female called Isha, is the yud He. So the yud He is Hashem's first two letters of his names. His name, and we, we attribute letters to, to his name, and these are four letters. But no one, he doesn't have any physical essence. He's a spiritual uh, manifestation of all the blessings that he brings to the world. And he's using the Jewish people as a conduit, as a, as a means to bring this light of the Torah, of the five books of Moses to the world. So that's a little background. And, the, and this, the, this week's portion, Yitzhak is born. To, to, the word Yitzhak means laugh. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of hard to laugh. And we see what happened three weeks ago. Uh, where on the happiest day of, of our year, which is Zaman Simcha Steinu, Simcha is, is happiness. It's called the time of our happiness. With Sukkah, we were attacked, right? On Sukkah, we dwell in huts. And we have this thing called the, the Lulov and the, and the Etrog. The Etrog looks like the heart, you see? Now, the heart, the heart is, is special. The Jewish people resemble this specific spice when we take the four, four species and we wave them to six corners of the war, of the earth to recognize and acknowledge the king of kings this heart has a smell and a taste it looks like a lemon okay so so the smell and the taste is is the torah and the mitzvahs when we learn the torah the five books of moses the values of our tradition it has a good taste to it we do the mitzvahs and we carry out these kindnesses that the Torah wants us to achieve we have both Torah and mitzvahs and that's that's the whole purpose of Yitzchak is where where as his father Abraham was chesed which is denote kindness compassion Yitzchak is is the up is like a balance to this, his judgment, his, his, his discipline, his restraint. So we have to have this balance between, between uh, kind and compassion and not have misplaced uh, kindness. And what we're experiencing is misplaced kindness today because Israel was attacked on Sukkot. This is, uh, they called uh, Shemini Chag uh, HaTzeret. And this is the, the seventh day of the aspect of, of, of judgment. On Rosh Hashanah, we have the first day, night. The ones who are righteous are judged favorably. But if they're not that so righteous, then we have to Yom Kippur 10 days later, where the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, would go in and on, on this day, Yoma, to. to atone for his family, atone for, this, for the people of Israel, for whatever failings they had. So on the holiest day of the year, we had this attack. But it's very interesting because you see this, this, this etrog? You see, it's, you're supposed to pick one out like beautiful. And that's the whole thing. We're looking to improve on ourselves, make things beautiful. I, I love this etrog. This is my etrog from last year. Why did I save it? Look at it, it shrunk because I enjoyed the Sukkot holiday last year. And it, this is amazing because this, you can't smell it, but this smells twice, twice as much as this. 
and it's from last year. In other words, it's like 15 months ago. And the smell is even stronger than this. So this is like the Jewish people when we're involved with doing chesed, kindness, and when we're holding back, showing gevua, the judgment of, of, of Yitzhak, then we're moving forward to try to fulfill the will of God. So we have to understand that we're in trying times and we have to take these times and we have to move forward. The, the Israeli army and the, the people of Israel are in, are in war and a lot of people from the north actually had to be removed and people from the south, our people, not their people, to make way for an army that may need to pursue things further. But God controls the world and that's what we have to understand. And, the, and we have to understand the blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See, Jacob is the balance, is the balance of the chesed and the 